Can inspiration affect the effectiveness of the pill? Welcome to Be Fab, Be You Made Simple, your daily dose of inspiration designed to help you reinvent yourself by optimizing your body and mind. I am Maria Horstman, a health editor and coach, a fitness trainer, a speaker, and an entrepreneur, founder of BeFabBU.com. Our episodes are short and will bring you valuable content and practical nuggets for optimal health and fitness that you can implement ASAP. Let's get you to feel fabulous every day. Are you ready? Check out the show notes to one, schedule a free call with me to discuss a plan to take your health to the next level. Two, submit a question to be featured in our Ask Me Anything episodes on Sundays. Connect with me on social media and much more. Hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you hear, share with your friends and leave it a rating. Inspiration affect the effectiveness of the pill? Isn't that an interesting question? Welcome to the BFAB Be You Made Simple. I am your host, Maria Horstman, an integrative functional wellness coach and personal trainer on a mission to transform the quality of life of millions by educating and elevating their health and wellness. In uh, today's episode is part three of the Horstman Weight Loss Pill miniseries. Yes, you heard right. If that's your first time checking in, go back to our previous uh, few episodes and catch up, all right? Last episode, I introduced you to the first and most important ingredient of my pill. And that is started with a letter P, and that stands for personal responsibility. Yep, you're understanding that this is a kind of a different pill. Today, you get to learn more about the second ingredient of my pill, P-I-L-L, and that is starts with I. I stands for... What do you think it is? Well, you know what? Before I go there, let's start with a few reminders so you stay out of trouble, my friend. If you don't make time for your wellness, you will be forced to make time for your illness. We have choices, don't we? I have no idea who said that, but I'm borrowing it because it needs to be repeated over and over and over until the light bulb comes on for whoever needs to hear at the right time that is for them to hear this stuff and take action. Look to realize the benefits of weight loss and long-term health. It requires long-term behavior change. That's it. There's no escape on this. We all understand that in some way or another, right? It's logical, but it's often, you know, times, you know, super hard to not give up the journey before this thing, you know, we're trying to change or adjust whatever. And I'm saying changing here because we want to become long-term, um, you know, behavior change. It, 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 it needs to become an, a habit. So we give up before it becomes a habit. And based on my own experience and with clients, In order to make progress without regression, you know, to where we started or even worse, we get to take a deep look into our lives and identify what is serving us well and what is not and do what aligns with our values. So if those things kind of sound, uh, you know, blah, 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 woo woo to you, I mean, we got to start somewhere. We got to figure out what our values are, right? So then we can go on to identify what's really important. And if there is any doubt on what is good for you, what is not, you know, having the courage to admit it, right? While having self-compassion is staying curious to the process and seeking help from others that are ahead of you are kind of wise steps here. Capish? So now it's time to give you ingredient number two of the Horstman weight loss pill. Are you ready? Okay. So it starts with the letter I and I for inspiration. Yes. Heck yes to inspiration. Now, how does that relate to weight loss? Great question. You're so freaking smart. 
no, and I'm going to go straight for the jugular. You know, here we go. You know, how inspired do you wake up every day? How ready to kick tails do you feel in the morning? Why do you wake up every day? Have you thought about it? What inspires you to be alive? What matters to you? Who matters to you? Who do you want to be an example and inspiration to besides yourself? Yes, we got to be inspiration to ourselves. But who else? Is there anybody else? Even if it is a cat or a dog. What is driving your choices? Or what are the things driving your choices, a.k.a. decisions every day? You know, what's driving your why in life? What could you do for the rest of your life for free? Because those things, they give signs to what inspires you every day. What is the thing that feels bigger than you and God, if you believe in God? What is the thing or things? And by the way, this does not have to be a gigantic, you know, thing like changing the world, you know? Uh, This is not about anything that society pushes upon us to be this and that and that, or is expected, you know, to, you know, for us to do. This is about you and what is important to you that is inspires the heck out of you. It, this is not about anybody else. You know, you first, my friend, always because that's going to, you know, take a ripple effect on anybody in anything that surrounds you and touches you or that you touch. This is about the thing or things that is speak to your soul. You know, they're natural energy, energy boosters. They fire you up, you know, just like I'm fired up right now. They make you get out of bed because you want to do more of it or feel more of it. What is that thing? What is it? Or things? Tell me. Now, why having this awareness and energy coming into your life significant to the weight loss pill and your weight loss or fat loss management journey? It is because oftentimes when we don't have something inspiring you to go after that drives our focus and why the autopilot of life, autopilot, let me repeat, of life takes over. And we waste a great deal of time, something that everybody says, I don't have the time. Really? Why is that you don't have the time? Are you putting the time into the right things? Uh, to do every day. And look, I'm no perfect. I waste my time sometimes and I get really upset actually, you know, of myself because I'm lacking some planning for the day. So anyway, you know, instead of living life with uh, intentionality, you know, we can easily live life in mediocrity. You know, I love this quote by an author, uh, William Ward. The price for excellence is discipline. The cost of mediocrity or mediocrity is disappointment. It's beautiful because really, you know, you've probably been there. I've been there many, many times. You know, I get disappointed with myself when I don't do the things that I promise myself, you know, and so on. And that can lead to frustration. That can lead to a vicious cycle of negativity in our lives. So it takes small steps. So the things that we focus on come at a price of other things that we then can't give out time, energy, and focus to. That is actually said by author Jamie Lima in her book, Believe It. Awesome book, by the way. Again, Believe It by Jamie Lima. So Having this clarity about what's truly important to you and inspires you because that becomes part of your why will take you uh, to see and take, uh, you know, a great responsibility for your health. It will reflect, you know, and understand 
you will reflect and understand that there is no wealth without health. You are the energy and the health. This is your ticket to leading a fulfilling life with more joy. That's what I want you to understand here. It is your ticket, health and energy, okay? From a cellular level. It's your ticket to do more of the things that you love. So you feel proud of your choices before going to bed every freaking day. And if you haven't done this enough, my friend, you got to take the time to include those little things into your life. It will become clear that the choices that you make today affect tomorrow in your aging process. This awareness is a beautiful thing. These choices, you know, they impact. They have an impact on a number of things, including the number and frequency of doctor's visits, surgeries you may have, medications, independency of medications too. They impact the level of anxiety, worry, frustrations throughout life. They impact your ability to get out of bed and stand up of ease. Goodness, I can go on and on and on. So yes, inspiration has an impact, you know, it's part of your why. And that why is going to have an impact in your sense of personal responsibility for your health and wellness. That's going to make you or influence your choices on a daily basis to influence how you live life. Let me share a story. Uh, that might resonate with you and inspires you too. This is a conversation, a real conversation I had with a friend of mine. And, you know, let, let me just call her Shay, okay? So I asked Shay, what does inspire you without missing a beat? Without missing a beat, she replied, whenever I get down or whenever I feel shitty, I just think like I need to show up for people the people I care about. For me, it's all about the people. So I said, so your inspiration is really others. It's other people. So she says, I don't think people depend on me, but I know I am important to them. I know I matter to them. I know that Friends that call me is because we want to have a friendship for the next 30 years, she says. And she goes on to say, I don't want them uh, to disappear and they don't want me to disappear. I think about those relationships, she says. And if I want to maintain those relationships, I got to be healthy. I got to be strong. I got to be clear headed. I got to take care of myself. That's my motivation, she says. And so I told her, so your values, and one of your values is to be an inspiration to others. She agreed and says, do you ever think about what your choices are before, you know, of your decisions, let's say of getting drunk? Do you think about how those things impact that? And she says, every time. She continues, you know, for example, my friend, Jessie, another different name over here. She has two daughters that I'm close with. We had a visit for an hour that day. And um, so when I think <laughs> of doing something, I think, what would Jessie think? The 11 year old, what would they think if I was doing X in front of them? Or if I heard myself saying why you know what would they think i think about the people and when i make decisions about decisions i told her you know so people feel your inspiration your why is to be an inspiration to others to be a catalyst to be helpful to be a value to those you cherish. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Let me tell you. As she was telling me all this stuff, you know, I was on the other side of the phone. I had a big smile. I had a big smile. 
And I could feel her energy and her intentions and her purpose through her voice. And I love to hear people's whys and inspirations. It's because it, they bring something great inside me too. And obviously, I love to help people uncover them. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful process. So, yeah, I told you earlier in this mini series that uh, my weight loss pill, you know, wasn't the typical one in the market. I'm promoting and selling you no product here. I'm promoting you, your dreams, your possibilities, your best self through the temple that is your body. There is way, way more to weight loss than nutrition and exercise, as you can see. Or hopefully I was able to portray that. My hope is that my voice and my words be part of your transformation process. And of course, I would love to work with you and I would meet you where you're at in this process, whether that's to be your guide and be your accountability partner only, teach you the ins and outs of the specific health matter, uh, or to get to, to or as close to as possible to the root cause of your health imbalances by doing functional labs, blood chemistry analysis, whatever it is, we can dive very deep over here, you know, and uh, whatever it is, I pretty sure that I can help you. But, you know, I will not know that unless I talk to you because, you know, there is a uniqueness of you and I need to understand that and you need to understand who I'm at and what uh, role I play in that journey if I am to become your guide. So we got to agree on those things. So if that's something or a step that you like to take, go to my website, bfabbu, that is B-E. F-A-B-B-E-Y-O-U.com and schedule a complimentary call. Let's talk about it. If there is, if there are questions in today's episode that you have no idea what the answers are or you never thought about it, I highly, highly recommend you go back to them, reflect upon them and write things down. We substantiate thoughts, goals, dreams, ideas when we write them down get out of your head please that's enough about that right so next episode we're gonna dive you know into the ingredient number three and that is a beautiful one and it starts with a letter l l4 you know what you're gonna guess you guess right you're gonna have to wait until next episode but if you like to tell me what your guess is for letter l Send me a note. I would love to hear. So that's it for today, folks, um, or my friend. Uh, thanks for listening and for sharing this episode with someone in your life, because that can make a huge difference. That can be the wake up that they the wake up that they needed to hear. You know, you never know. So don't keep this stuff to yourself. You know, share it, please. That will allow you know this uh, podcast to grow too. And if you like what you hear here, you know, leave us a rating in iTunes and leave a comment too. Until we talk again, be well. Take care of yourself. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Be Fab, Be You Made Simple podcast. Can you do me a favor? If you enjoyed this episode, share it with a friend and leave it a rating. It helps the podcast and I really appreciate it. If you're wondering where to start, head over to my website linked in the show notes to sign up to receive encouragement, tips, and strategies to maximize results. While you're there, download a free health guide to get you started today. If you're looking for a coach and trainer to help you optimize your weight, body, and health, get on my calendar. Let's discuss your goals, establish a custom plan, implement it, and celebrate your results. Together, we can do this. Find the link to schedule a free energy audit strategy session also in the show notes. Connect with me on social media. I would love, love, love for you to let me know that you're listening to the show. Also see the show notes for the links. In addition to a qualified healthcare practitioner, it's important that you have someone in your corner who is in for you and will help you to plan and stay on track implementing your goals. Are you ready? Let's rock and roll this boat. I will see you on the next episode of Be Fab, Be You Made Simple. 
Just a reminder that this podcast is for educational purposes only. This podcast is not a substitute for health care by a doctor or other qualified medical professionals. This podcast is provided on the understanding that it does not constitute medical or other professional advice or services.